As a native New Yorker, I've tried pretty much every method imaginable for navigating the streets of the Big Apple. So when my next door neighbor rolled up in an Irby electric scooter, I was intrigued. I had tried out an early prototype back at CES in 2014. That vehicle was fun, but too slow and slight to be taken seriously on rugged streets. I decided to take the finished product for a spin, trying to navigate through a day of errands and my commute to work. I started out in Brooklyn where I live. The Irby is front wheel drive, so the steering can be a bit jumpy, especially if you put your feet on the front pegs. But I never fell off while learning to ride. My wife had forgotten her lunch, so I went to pick her up something to eat. The Irby was ideal for switching back and forth from the sidewalk to the street, and the optional basket made carrying her sandwich a breeze. It even held my iced coffee. It was definitely my ultimate hipster dad moment. The Irby has a top speed of 15 miles per hour, which feels great when you're accelerating, not quite as speedy when you're getting passed by a bicycle on the straightaway. Still, I left my camera crew in the dust by slipping past traffic a lot of the time. The Irby even handled well on cobblestone streets, although that was a pretty bumpy ride. We then made our way into Manhattan. I took the Brooklyn Bridge, which is always crowded with tourists snapping selfies in the bike lane. It can be a nightmare of starts and stops, but with the Irby, I could start and stop with minimal effort and even weave between pedestrians. Its agility and flexibility really impressed me on this leg of the trip. As I made my way to Midtown, I spent some time weaving in and out of traffic on the Irby. You sit far too low to be seen from a large bus or truck. Even most SUVs wouldn't spot you in their mirror. But I actually felt safe, if not safer than I do when working my way through similar traffic on a bicycle, because the Irby is much nimbler and faster to accelerate. The Irby relies on a 36 volt lithium ion battery for power. It takes about four hours to get to a full charge, but you can get a whopping 20 miles on that single charge, giving you more than enough juice for a 45 minute commute to work and back. So this is our last shot of the day and it's a fake one because I beat the video team back to the office by a mile. I was really impressed with the maneuverability on the Irby and especially the battery. We rode it for like five hours before it died. This is a new one I'm riding now. If you have $1,700 to spare and you have an urban commute that doesn't work for a bike or a car, this is a really interesting option. Uh -huh.